Let's get salty! Hey everyone, Zeddy here again today with a brand new video and something is about to happen at Hearthstone with standard rotation that has not occurred since Goblins vs. Gnomes back in 2014. Eater of Secrets might be a little bit of a hint of what's to be coming. And um, it's kind of a concerning, it might not matter. We're gonna talk about it. I think it could be a potentially kind of a huge issue for Hearthstone. Um, we'll talk about that as well as the hot fix that went live yesterday that saw changes to Battlegrounds as well as the arena. We'll go over what those changes were. They'll also be linked down below if you wanna take a look in detail. And of course, we have our giveaway going on right now for three mega bundles, two regular operators out of my pocket. Into that giveaway, like and comment on the video linked in that uh, link in the description below. Has that thumbnail there? Be subscribed to the channel. Every thousand subscribers we get until all uh, the Whizbag Workshop cards are revealed. I think next Saturday I will add another mega bundle. Hit that sub button. Make me go broke. So take a look at this card here: Eater of Secrets, Battle Cry, Destroy All Enemy Secrets. Gain plus one, plus one for each. It's basically just a neutral tech card you could put into your deck that can allow you to counter secrets. Unless, of course, they play Objection, and then Objection counters my secret tech card. Like, that's how stupid that card has been. That's rotating. But what is also rotating is Eater of Secrets. This card will not be available in standard going forward, and we've seen all the neutral cards. They have all been revealed, and for the first time since, like, Classic and Nax Ramis, there will be no neutral secret tech option in the game. Basically, every expansion, you go all the way back uh, to Goblins versus Gnomes and on, uh, there has been some type of secret tech card in the game. The one that was introduced in this expansion was Kazan Mystic. This was the first ever, ever neutral option where it was a four mana four, three, so under, under stat of mini for the cost, Battle cry, take control of a random enemy secret. The main reason uh, this card, at least in my opinion, was put out back in the day were all the complaints about Ice Block. Freeze Mage is a really good deck uh, back in the day, especially they got Mad Scientist uh, from Nax Ramus, which really helped put it over the top. And Kazam Mystic was a way for you to, I can't stand Ice Block. I can't, and I don't want to play Hunter because Flare, I believe, was like the only option to counter secrets at all in any way uh the hunter card um was a waiver like i can't stand ice block i could put kazan mystic in my deck it was never a high win rate card it was never really good and that stayed true for like every secret tech card we've seen but since goblin versus nobs there has been a secret tech card in every single expansion well not necessarily every expansion but every standard rotation right we had si7 infiltrator was in there to uh, act as that type of tech for a long time. Eater of Secrets, of course. We've seen cards like Tight-Lipped Witness, which is also rotating as kind of a secret tech card. Horde Operative kind of punished them, but there was always some kind of option available for that. And yeah, for the first time in almost 10 years, like it's the GVG came out late 2014. Uh, there will not be a neutral option. Even Chief Inspector destroy all enemy secrets. They always made a secret disruption card. And this is the first time in a very long time. And we're gonna see a real lack of counterplay. It's not the only like tech card that's really kind of concerning that's leaving. Uh, because if we look at Steam Cleaner, this card is also rotating and it's currently the only way to counter like Plague Death Knight if you want to delete those plagues from your deck. Um, again, these are all cards that do not have good win rates. These are all cards that if you put them in your deck, you typically will lower your win rate on average, but it is always nice to have that option if it's something you just can't stand, you, you, you don't care about the win rate or whatever, you wanna delete those plagues, or, or a card like ETC, which is still in standard, you throw as an ETC option, and then it doesn't really hurt your win rate nearly as much, because ETC is a nice way of putting those flexible cards, and it is a little bit concerning, a little bit concerning with the future of Hearthstone, where I felt like Steam Cleaner should have been a shoe in for the core set to keep those kind of strategies in check, and also, I always hear the arguments of, uh, well, Reno, like Reno Lone Ranger, th that card needs a counter. You have to counter it, so plagues are fine, but 
Now there's no counter to, to plagues. There's no counter to secrets. Why does there have to be a counter to Reno Lone Ranger? I'm gonna stick to my, my suggestion. I really think Reno Lone Ranger should be based on starting deck. And that also cuts off those cycle decks that keep on abusing it. And you don't, you know, you're already playing at the downside of having no duplicates. But anyways, that's a whole different topic for a video I've already talked about and probably talk about again. But yeah, I want you guys to be aware going forward the next standard rotation, there's gonna be a lot less tech off options available you still have you know thankfully um there will still be good tech options like dirty rat i'm glad that's sticking around because you know how do you counter some of these combo decks this isn't the most effective way but it is probably the healthiest of the options we've seen rather than a theotar right that just outright stole and felt bad and then of course you have like viper which will still destroy weapons so that's still around but yeah uh, standard's gonna look awfully different going forward with that. And then also, I wanted to talk about a hotfix that went live in Hearthstone yesterday, uh, patch 28.6.3, tweeted out by Play Hearthstone, bringing some balance changes to Battlegrounds along with a few arena micro adjustments. And normally they don't go into specifics about what they are, but they actually did. So we'll take a look. Um, again, not gonna go into great detail about Battlegrounds, so don't really follow that too much on the channel, but the usual, this hero has more armor, this hero has less armor, this quest is like either, either like harder to complete or they make some adjustments. Again, if you're interested in that type of stuff, this will be linked down below, but the arena has been pretty unbalanced lately. Shaman and Rogue in particular, like way better than everybody else. And there has been some changes here with card offering rates have been adjusted. The appearing rates have been de uh, decreased for conductivity, which it's funny, Hearth Arena, the Hearth Arena like uh, deck tracker thing to help you pick always rates it low. I always auto pick conductivity. It's so broken with like excavate stuff or just drawing with the frozen cards or hexes um, and lightning reflexes, which like always gives you an AOE basically or an excavate or conductivity and a giant tumbleweed, just a really good AOE. They're, they haven't been banned. They're just not gonna be offered as much. And then, so they didn't hit Rogue surprise uh, but then they, the appearance rates have been increased for several cards here. Um, Dragon Tales and Rain Negotiator for Druid, Cycle of Hatred, Bartendo Bot, Fan the Haunt Hammer for Demon Hunter, uh, Kabbalist Tome. I don't even, why would you want to up that? That card feels terrible, like four mana. It's a lot of random, but that actually isn't really that good arena pick for Mage. Um, Inquisitive Creation for Mage and Blast Charge, which is really good for a warrior. Any excavate card's insane. So um, yeah, if you've been playing arena, you might notice some of these cards not showing up as much, and you might notice these cards going up and apparently added support for several additional currencies. Please no more runestone stuff. Let's let's hope not there. So yeah, some news in between our card reviews. We had one like really early in the morning. I think there's two more later today for Druid. Uh, so stay tuned for all that, but want to keep you guys updated whenever news drops. And I felt oh, this is worth talking about, but probably just card reviews for the next few days anyways. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Have a great day and stay salty, my friends.